G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I got asked about my cook kit and what cook kit am I using and the weight of it and everything. So as we go along, I'll put the weights up here and I'll show you. But at the moment, the one I'm using now, because I'm using mainly the Helicontex Bergen pack. Let's get it out and show you. Now in my other pack, my winter one, uh, the Tasmanian Tiger Raid Mark III, I think it is. I carry a completely different setup. Well, not completely different, but uh, the main compartments are different compartments because of it being winter and the options are using different in the winter and the summer. Now here in Australia, we've got fire bands because we're in the summer season or summer seasons or summer season is right yet yeah, not the summer months so let's put that pack down there out the way so normally like you just saw i put it in the pouch here and the other occasion it'll go in the side pouch or depending what i'm carrying but the majority of the time i carry it in this pouch here okay my cock kit, first of all, is in a DCF or a Dyneema Cuban fibre bag. And this one's from the Ultralight Hiker, They're a good Australian company. This is held up really well. So if you go through my videos, I did a review when I got this and I wasn't so experienced at making videos. Not the best now, but hopefully each one gets better very slightly. My gas canister. Now that depends on how long I'm going for, what size, whether I'll use this or the large, is it the 300 gram one or 200 and something gram one, but that's all I really need. That'll last me uh, probably five to seven days, just a 100 gram one. Now, my spoon. Now this one is from Sea to Summit. It's Oh, plastic one, I don't know if you can see that. I think it's only about seven or nine grams, but like I said, I'll put it up here. Now I was carrying the metal ones along reach and everything else, but then the company started to put these second little rip tabs halfway down so you can rip the top off the uh, freeze dry food bag and use it as a bowl. So then I didn't need the long spoon because it was only about this deep and that is more than capable of getting there and eating with. So if you're looking at saving weight, that's one way you can do it. It will see to summit. And some of the meals I take, I make myself, I make up myself and they're just in the small Ziploc bags. So I can still easily get in there or I'll put them in my actual main pot and I'll cook and eat directly from it. So that's my spoon, it's from Sea to Summit. Next thing in my cock kit, a little scouring pad, a non-stick one. So I've got the sponge on one side and the non-stick scourer on the other side. It's just one cut in half, so it fits in the pot nice and easy. So I can always clean my uh, kit afterwards and yeah, be hygienic. My next thing is my stove. So this is actually in with the stove. I've just got a mini Bic lighter, little yellow one. So it's easier to see if I drop it. But the stove is a BRS. And I can't remember if this is a 2000 or 2500 or 3000 or whatever it is. They've all got new, because it just says BRS and then a load of uh, Chinese symbols underneath it. But this is a little titanium BRS stove. When I got this, I actually bought three at the same time because there was so much negativity about it. I a lot of people saying how bad they were, how they broke, how they didn't work. I thought, oh, they are so cheap. If it breaks, it's basically a throwaway. But look, I think this is the, yeah, this is the original one. I've got another one in another set, which 
doesn't get used that much at the moment. But this one's been used for about two and a half years, close to three years now. One of the pot holders did bend a bit. I don't know if that's through the heat, but all I did was give it a tug and it's, I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, it was this one. You just see a slight twist in it still now. But that has been going, like I said, two and a half, three years and it hasn't let me down. So for a little cheap, I think it was about uh, $12, $10 when I bought it. So like I said, I bought three at the same time. Waited about six weeks for, uh, no, no, these actually came through quite quick. There was here, here in Australia within about three weeks coming from China, which was pretty good. Cause it's normally a matter of six to 12 weeks. But yeah, a little BRS stove. That's what I actually cook on. All right, tea bags. Another tea bag. And another tea bag. Now, I used to carry coffee in them sachets, but um, now after getting into the fresh coffee every morning, and if I went out, it was the fresh ground coffee. A couple more tea bags. Them uh, instant coffees just didn't, no, they didn't do it. They actually put me off, I didn't want to actually drink. Next thing is my pot support or my cylinder gas support, a tripod. So if I am anywhere and it's uneven like this table now, with it being a tripod, you'll get a stable base and your gas cylinder just clips into that and that'll spin around. So if you're on a table and you need to turn your pot, you don't have to lift that up and turn it. You can just turn it. It's a lot easier. And we've got a little rubber feet on the ends here. So when it is, it's actually got more stability because it's not going to slide. So that's that. Can you see it there? Or do I think it, there we go. That's better. But there, this one here is about half an inch lower, but I've still got a nice stable and I can adjust it as I need it. So there are people taking the mickey, oh, I never use one, you just use some stones, blah, blah, blah. That's up to you, you can do that. That's no problem at all. But I prefer to use something like this, which gives you a little bit more stability, especially here in Australia where it's so dry, even in the wet season, you still want to be very careful with the fire. Because if you're in a shelter, you, you could, the shelter could go up. So that to me is just gives me that little bit more sense of security and a little bit more of the fire awareness. So, very handy. Next is my cup. Because I drink so much water in the summer now, when I get to shelter, I may end up drinking water. But the only actual drink in the morning is my tea, like I said, and sometimes I'll have it in the afternoon. But I don't need that much. I just can't drink more than the small cup here, which is the 375 ml Tokes titanium cup. So this one has got nothing wrong with this one. I, mean, I think that was another reason I went to the smaller one. So I got the 450 because the 450 one I've got, which I'll show in another video is where they pressed it. You can, oh, slightly in this one, you got wrinkles coming all the way down on the outside and oh, you just about see them on the inside of this one, but on the 450, they're very prominent. So they are deep wrinkles. So yeah, I'm, I'm in an iron. I'm, I'm looking at another set, uh, which isn't uh, due into stock until sometime April, May time. So when I get that, I'll show you because what I've seen of it and what I've heard of it, it's um, going to work a lot better for me. But no, that's the Tokes Titanium 375 mil cup. But you can actually use it as a pot as well. I can go on top of your stove. So that's the advantage of this little BRS. You can, that'll fit on there. And the bigger pots will, and even the smaller pots will.
but it's, it's a, actually that's a handy little stove. I'll do another review, an updated review of that one day soon. My main pot is the Tokes Titanium. Let's put the bag underneath that so it doesn't blow away. 550, this one is. I was carrying the 750, which I normally carry for the winter because I seem to, um, or I, yeah, I seem to carry more, so I put more in the actual container. But this one, because it's a larger area, the actual creasing is very fine. You can see the creasing fine. Now, where they, they stretch the metal, I think they got a machine that just forces it through and presses it. But no, it's, it's still, they are still pretty good. It's got the measurements up to 500 and you'll probably feel if 550 will be right at the top. But the 500 is just there where my nail is touching. So you get that much. But still, I suppose if you filled it up to the 500, uh, which is just over 16 ounces, and it started boiling, it would splatter over. So it could be a little bit dangerous putting your hand there and having the boiling water go over it or even just turning the gas off it could splash over so just be aware of that so yeah I, I'd never ever put that much in there now Mo most of the actual meals aren't that big don't need that much water and like I said from the, my cup is 375 and the 400 marks here so this 375 is probably down here So it's more than enough, or I could just warm it up in the cup to the temperature I want. And when I start seeing the small bubbles, turn it off. And that's, even though the titanium does um, heat up a lot quicker and it actually um, cools down quicker. So as the wind or the breeze is hitting that, it's going to cool the titanium cup down. But it's also going to cool your drink down that's in there a lot quicker than if you were in a, one of the uh, plastic insulated cups or a steel cup, they, they hold the heat a lot longer, your drink stays warm for longer in them too. And the other thing I carry to save gas is a lid. And that goes on top of the 500ml pot. And it's a handy little lid because it's got a little uh, piece at the top here, a little grab handle if you want to call it, which you slide over. If it, slide it over this way it folds down lift it up and slide it over it locks in the near enough upright position see so if i wanted to get that off and that was hot i could use my spoon or a knife or anything just lift it off have a look and put it back and if it wasn't so hot i could just grab it and take it off with ease instead of farting around trying to get it that way so that was good good little design feature that one is well, like I said, I've got a little indentation. So when you do fold it flat, it sits inside the indentation there. So that's my cook kit, what I use at the moment when I'm carrying the Bergen pack. And that all sits in there quite handy. Let's put everything back and show you. Ping, spider. Oh, jump in one. I'll put that underneath and sit the cup on it. It'll stand out a bit, but I'm not going to lose it when it's in there. And when it goes in the bag, I put the lid underneath too. And then I can still put things in the top and they can still stick out. And when it goes in the bag, my spoon goes in that way. And then my cook kit, or my little stove, my little BRS. Let's get this all put back to, together. Our stove goes in there. My little bit lighter goes in there. And they are fairly good in the wind, these little BRS. I'll let you know that too. Then the sponge. 
some tea bags. Got some more tea bags. And then that gas cylinder just sits over the top there. And sometimes I'll even put it in that way because it actually goes inside the pot that way. So it just make, gives me more room in the bag and my pack. But in this particular setup, it can go facing up. So that's the lid goes in. That's the pot goes in. I put, yeah, I bought that one along because it's nearly out. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea shortly and use that one up. But then the gas goes on top and there's still enough room for the larger canister if you want to carry one of them. And so that closes up. And that'll go in my pocket. And that'll probably fit in a lot of the side pockets of most packs, whether they're the Molly system ones, the military style, or your normal ultralight hiking ones, like your Z pack and everything. So yeah, that's my cook kit. So I hope that's answered the question. So if you've enjoyed the video and you've never been to my channel before, please go down below and click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and now they have an option. So click all, so you get notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.